welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my face makeup inventory for you. I'm trying a new style of filming to see if this works better because my time is so limited and I really want to get this stuff up but editing has been a struggle so I'm trying to do this all overhead today just to get it done a little bit quicker. So let me know what you think about this format. We'll see how the rest of this video goes and how the other inventories go. Okay starting with my primers. I have seven here in my inventory currently. The ones on the right are the ones that I am currently panning. I have the Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. I do like it, but it is not my favorite. It is more of a silicone base, which is not my preferred. Then the Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. This feels like it's 100% silicone. I'm using it. I cannot use it with a lot of my moisturizers. It does not play nice with that. It's okay. I would not repurchase this. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've purchased a single one of these primers. I've gotten them in PR as gifts, declutters from friends, gift with purchase like this one. And then, of course, I have the Bobbi Brown Face Base. I really do like this one a whole lot. As you can see, I have two over here. And yes, I did receive all of these in PR from Bobbi Brown. And I'm not mad about it because I really do enjoy those quite a bit. Then I have Vanish from Hourglass and the Bare Minerals Prime Time. And this one is the Hydrate and Glow. My goal for these is to get down to five, which I will do by the end of the year. This one is probably going to be done in the next month or so. And then I'm going to work on both the Bobby Brown and the Dr. Brandt. I'm just going to mix and match depending on what my needs are for that day. And I expect to get at least two, possibly all three of these done this year. Here we have all 13 of my foundations. The ones on this side here are the ones that I am currently working on it throughout different projects. These over here are ones that are just kind of hanging out in my inventory. I have some that I love, some that I need to work with a little bit more, some that I haven't even tried, like the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. I have a feeling this is going to be a little heavy for me, but I'm going to give it a try. Many of these I have gotten in PR, like on this bottom row, these were all from PR. This one was in PR. These two were in PR. Some of these I struggle with just because they are a little dark for me, like this Rose Ink. Even though it is a serum-based foundation, it's lovely on the skin, but it is a little bit dark. So this is something that I can really only use in the summertime. A bunch of these are a little too warm for my complexion, so I am really considering getting a foundation corrector in blue because I have naturally olive skin. So I'm hoping that if I get a blue that it will help neutralize some of these and I will be able to use them a little bit better. I have to say that I'm very shocked at this e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is shade 1 and it is actually quite warm. For a shade one, I feel bad for anyone that has purchased this that actually has pale skin because I'm a medium tone and this is not pale at all. It's not light. I don't know what they're thinking, but it is not. I'm really hoping I can get through these two this year as well as this one. The jury is still out on these two here. They are both too warm for me, so if I can get the mixer and correct that a little bit, then I might be able to get those two done. But I realistically would like to have at least these three done. That would put me into a solid yellow category and not be a red category anymore, but we'll have to wait and see if I can get that color corrector and make these work for me. Here are my nine concealers. The ones that I am currently working on are the Yensa. This is the Silk Concealer and Huda. This is the Faux Filter Concealer. This one from Yensa is a little bit dark. This is going to be better for spot treatment or in the summertime when I have my tan. And the Huda, I am actually able to use that right now, is definitely lighter and I can use that in my under eye area. These over here are just kind of hanging out. Some of them are a little darker than others, like this Milk Makeup and the Almay. They're a little bit dark. The NYX, I haven't even tried yet. Misty sent those to me. And the Rose Ink, I do really like that one a whole lot, as well as the one from Catrice. Here we have my three little color correctors. This one is from Ulta. I do get some redness sometimes in my face, so I use this green to correct that. And then I have this one in Lavender from NYX. I've had this for quite some time. It lasts forever. This was definitely a good purchase. I tend to get yellowing under my eyes instead of dark circles like some people, and this really helps cut that yellow. These are both in projects. I don't necessarily 
think I'm going to finish them this year, but I do work on them. And this lavender is actually helping me with some of my foundations that are a little too warm. I can just put this in certain areas to brighten them up and it neutralizes that yellow look. And then this lonely little one that is not in a project from Bobbi Brown. This is not what you would think I have this for. It is extremely dark. This was sent in PR and I really wanted to try this formula, but none of the colors that were available were in my skin range. So I actually picked this color purposely so that I can use it as a cream bronzer. And that way I'm able to try the formula to see if I like it and want to purchase it in the correct color. And I didn't have to pay for it in order to try the formula. So this will probably go into a project later in the year. Like I said, to use this as a cream bronzer. So it is technically a color corrector, but that's not how I'm going to use it. This one probably will be done within the next year or so. The green and the lavender who knows, I'm just kind of using them and if they get done, they get done. If they don't, they don't. Next we have my face powders. We are going to address the elephant in the room. That is this comically large bag of rice powder. And you can see it right there. It does say rice powder. It is not anything um, insidious here. So just boring old rice powder. I am not attempting to pan this this year, but I am starting to pan parts of it. I have some in this container right here, as well as another container that I forgot to pull out. Here is the other container that I'm working on that also has a bit of that rice powder in it. I think this is one of those things. It's going to take me a while to get through it, so I'm just going to do little bits of it at a time, and we will eventually work our way through this. These others here, I have two from Essence that I just got at the end of last year. This one from Huda Beauty and from Bobbi Brown. These are... This one from Huda is a loose powder, whereas the one from Bobbi Brown, it is extremely warm for me, but I can use that as a bronzer as well. And then this one from Huda over here, this is the Easy Bake and Snatch. This one is also a little bit warm for me. I'm making it work. This isn't the perfect color for me, but I will make it work. And if I have to franken it, I will. So this is not a problem at all for me. I expect to finish at least one of these powders this year. It's probably going to be this Huda one. And we're going to just have to wait and see how it goes. Moving right along to my bronzers. I only have eight powder bronzers. I think that is too many. And I am going to be working on some of these right now. But I'm not actually currently panning any bronzers, which is kind of crazy. I will be showing you my cream bronzers in a moment. But let me show you what I have here. I have these three bronzers up top here. This is the BH Cosmetics Belgium Waffle Palette. This one does not work as a bronzer for me. It is a little bit shimmery. It's more like a satin. Not that it looks like that on my skin right now. But I use this kind of as like a subtle highlighter. But it is technically a bronzer, so it is going to stay in my bronzer category for now. Where this one is supposed to be a highlighter, but it is more like a glowy bronzer for me. It's kind of crazy the way they have these, but I am just going to keep them in the categories in which they belong. I am not working on this this year, but I might consider working on this palette next year if I do a pin that face palette. I have never done that, but I am considering it for next year. And then in this magnetic palette, I have this Smashbox. This is the Soft Fusion Lights in Dusk. It actually shattered. I had hit pan on this and it shattered and I had to press it back together. That's why it looks like a hot mess right now, but it's okay. It's going to be just fine. And then I have these three from Hula. I have like a mini and these two. I don't know if they're full size or if they're mid size, but this one is probably going to be going into a project at some point this year. I just haven't put it there yet. You can see what I've taken out of it and frankened it because it is a little bit warm for me, but I don't mind if I franken it or use it. I'm finding ways to make it work. So I'm hoping at least one of these will be done this year. And then I have the Ciate London, which I have not tried at all. Sorry, not trying to blind you there. This is extremely warm. I haven't tried it yet, but I can tell just by looking at it that it's going to be warm for me. So I'll have to find a way to make this one work. And these are my three cream bronzers. It's funny, I didn't buy a single one of them. These two were decluttered to me from Misty, and this one I got in PR. This one's Kaja, and this is one of the bento boxes. And I really like this one as a cream bronzer. I've already hit pan in that, and that may be considered for later in this year as well. 
and this one is from Revolution. It's the Super Dewy Liquid Bronzer. Haven't even tried that one yet, but I have tried this one from Revolution. It is extremely dark, but I can sheer it out somewhat, and probably not going to work on this one this year, but it's not that bad. I thought I was going to have more problems with it, but I think it's going to be just fine for me in the summer months. So this is not a problem category at all. I don't need any more than this. I have my goal set at five, but if I took it down to two, I would be okay with that as well. Here are all of my powdered highlighters. This category is absolutely a problem. I can't even fit them all on the screen, so I'm going to show them to you as I talk to you about them. The first ones we're gonna start off with are the ones that I am not currently panning. I have three of these Majesty Highlighter palettes. I did not order these. I ordered empty palettes, and they sent me these by mistake. I have gotten rid of one of them, and I still have three of them. But these are not in my inventory properly. I will have to adjust that. I have these in as three highlighters, but that's three times six. So there's 18 there, which is definitely a problem. I will be working on this one a little bit here and there. These two in the center, I do really like. The rest of them are probably going to be used as eyeshadows or frankened, but I will get through them. Next, we have the BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffle Palette. Again, the three highlighters here in the bottom, which I am not working on this year. We have the Pure and Nabella, I don't know who that is, Embrace Your Face Eye and Cheek Palette. There are two highlighters in this one as well. Also not working on these this year. Another palette from Ulta. This one just has a highlighter right here in the corner. This was a gift with purchase. Not something I would have purchased for myself, but I will use it. This cute little Minnie Mouse duo has a blush and a highlighter in there. Some ones that I got from Misty. This one is Revolution, and it is kind of like that ombre. It's pretty, and it almost has like a, almost like a super shock texture, but not quite as creamy. I don't know how to explain it. It is really pretty though. Another one from Revolution. This is the Coconut. It did start to crack, so... Hopefully, I won't crack it anymore by playing around with it here. One from Ciate London. This one looks a little bit icy and gold at the same time, which could go either way. It could be really good or not so good. I've got this one from Becca. I want to say this one is Rose Quartz. I never remember which side opens on these. There it is. There's Rose Quartz. This one is super pretty. Another one from Becca. This is Champagne Pop. I recently had this in a Project to Hit pan, which I have done. Odds are pretty good that this is going to go in another project this year, and I will attempt to finish that. I've got this Play Bento from Kaja again. I have a highlighter right in the middle, and you'll see this again when we get to the blushes. And the last one that I'm not currently working on is from Bare Minerals. This is Platinum Gossamer. This is going to be frankened. It is, like, seriously, silver. It is crazy. I cannot wear this on my face. I don't know anyone that could. So that is probably going to be frankened or put in a lotion. Might even use it as an eyeshadow. I'm not sure, but that cannot be used as is. And we have the three that I'm currently working on. This is actually an illuminating face powder, but anything that says illuminating, I'm gonna call that a highlighter. And I have this in a project currently for usage. I don't know that I'm going to attempt to finish it this year, but I do wanna get a little bit more usage on it. Elf Moonlight Pearls, one of my absolute favorites. Yes, I actually have pan in that crater. This is just in a project for usage, and then it's just going to go back into my collection. Someday I will attempt to pan this, but baked stuff is no joke. And then another one that I'm working on is the Diamond Gossamer. It is straight up white shimmer. This one is going to either go in lotion or used to franken other things, because I cannot use this pure iciness on my face. It would look crazy pants and it is a little bit glittery and that is also not a look that I am trying to achieve. Next we have the cream highlighters. This is not actually a problem category for me. My goal is to keep it at five or less. I currently have five total. I am working on one right now. The one I'm working on is Out of Quartz from ColourPop. It is a super shock. I love this stuff and I do expect to have this done this year. I actually just recently scraped the edges out to bring it back to the center because it was getting very difficult to use. So that is a good sign that I am making good progress on this one. Then we have Seismic. This one is really nice. It does have a little bit of glitter to it, 
but I do like this one as well. It's just not the one that I chose to work on this year. Then this next one is Goody Two Shoe. It's in limited edition packaging. That one is really pretty. It is very gold. And again, not going to attempt to finish this one this year, but I will probably work on one of these two next year. Another one from ColourPop. This one is You Got Mail. This one is a pretty pink Super Shock. I do like this one as well. And one that I have not tried that I'm a little bit scared of. This was sent to me by Misty from her declutter. It is Revolution. And it is a liquid highlighter in lemon. I don't know if it's going to look really yellow or if it's going to look more gold. We'll have to wait and see. This may be used on my face. It may also be used in some lotions. We'll have to wait and see what it looks like. So this category is not a problem for me at all. I do expect to have just four at the end of this calendar year. And whenever this one is done, I'm just going to start working on one of these other four. Next, we have my powder blushes. This is a problem category for me. I have a total of 26. That is way too many. I would like to keep it at five. So I have a long way to go with these. Let's go over the ones that I do have in painting projects first. This first one is from Essence. It's their Silk Touch Blush in Baby Doll. I do intend to finish this this year. This one is a really easy shade to use and I don't have any problem getting this one done. I also have a Bare Minerals. This is technically a radiant, so it's kind of like a blush topper. And I am going to attempt to finish this this year, but I feel like this is more like a late spring, summer, early fall because it is kind of warm, but shimmery. So that's kind of a warm weather blush to me. And then of course we've got Tarte Party. I have a lot of progress on that one and this one is going to get repressed soon and I do believe this is going to be done in the next month or two. Moving on to this mess over here. I have so much. I don't even know where to start. So we're just going to start at one end. I do have this one from Ulta. This was a gift with purchase. Just a small blush here. Once again, I have the cute little mini duo and this blush right here. This reminds me a lot of NARS Orgasm. I'm going to see because I do have Orgasm here. I just want to see how close they are. Maybe a little less pink, but yeah, I think they're, they're fairly similar. I have the Pure Nabella Embrace Your Face Eye and Cheek Palette again, and there are two blushes in this one. I have quite a bit of Bare Minerals. This one is actually e.l.f. It kind of blends in with the Bare Mineral stuff. I, it's not even open. It's in Bliss. That is going to be easy to use once I actually start using it. Then I have some more Radiances from Bare Minerals. I will eventually get to those, and I have a lot of loose blushes here as well. One just rolled onto the floor. I will have to get that one. That was Blush Pearl that tried to make a run for it. So I've got those that I'm going to need to work with. Let's get those out of the way. I've got this one from Catrice. It is my only true purple blush. That kind of scares me. A really old Clinique. This one, it's a pretty shade. I might end up working on this later this year if I can get some of the other blushes done that I already have in projects. If not, that's probably going to get worked on next year. And the last three, this one is Sephora. Such a pretty blush. I really enjoy this one quite a bit. Milani Luminoso. Doesn't everyone have this one? Misty sent me hers because this is definitely not her color and it is definitely my color. And then the last one in the Kaja Bento, that is a really pretty shade. I'm going to be able to use that one up pretty easily. But so far, I'm just going to be working on these three this year. I do believe I will have the ones that are in pans done for sure. And then I will be working on the Bare Minerals in the summertime. So we'll see what kind of progress I can make on these before it gets warm again. And then it is going to go straight to this one. And now we get to my cream blushes. I currently have seven in my inventory. I do think that is too much. I would like to get two used up and keep it at five. And I feel like five is a good number. It gives me plenty of versatility to have a warm, a cool, a neutral, and you know, maybe something fun to play with. So the ones that I'm currently working on are the Pure Lease, the Blush Glow BB Cheek Color. I actually like this and the color is this bright, but it shears out nicely and just kind of gives you that little flush of color. This one is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush in Drop of a Hat. I absolutely love this one and I fully intend to have this one done this year. This is a little bit warm, but it's 
almost neutral for me and my skin tone. So that one I don't think is going to be a problem to finish this year. Even though I've never finished anything super shock, whether it's for cheek or eye, I really think that I can probably get that one done. Hopefully both of these, this one is getting, it's not low, but I'm definitely making some progress on it. So we'll see. Those are the only two cream blushes that I'm currently working on. And then we have these over here. Let's start with this one. I have not tried it yet. These both are from Revolution and Misty sent these to me. This one is, I don't know what color this is. It looks really dark. I'm hoping it shears out. And this one looks straight up terracotta orange. I don't know. We're going to have to see how that works on my complexion. And then this one almost looks orangey, but it's not. It is, I don't know how to explain it. It's super pretty. The color on the packaging is almost true color. And it shears out absolutely beautiful. Colfi is a brand that I am relatively new to discovering probably within the last year and everything that I've tried from them I have really liked a whole lot so looking forward to working on that some more but I need to get those two done I also have another super shocked cheek and this one is virtual reality I do have pan on that one and this may go into a project later this year it may not I'm not sure I haven't decided yet and the Bobbi Brown what is this? The Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks. I mostly use it on my cheeks, but I have used it a few times on my lips. And it looks like that. If I put it on my lips, it actually looks this color because you use a little bit more. If I put it on my cheeks, it is like this color, but not as pigmented. It shears out lovely, and I enjoy it that way. But this is going to take a long time to use. We'll have to see if and when I can get that into a project. So right now I am just gonna be working on these two. I do think they will be done by the end of the year, in which case it would leave me with just these five cream blushes and I'm okay with that. If I can get those two done, I will be at goal for this category. All right, this is by far not everything that I showed you today. I just put a bunch on here to do my outro. I have a lot of work to do this year. I have a lot of problem categories that I need to work on and I just, I need to get through this stuff and have less. I am really wanting to have less overall in my collection. While I enjoy beautiful things, I do feel like I have more than I am comfortable with and it feels a little overwhelming at times. So if I can slowly get some of this stuff used up and get my collection to be smaller, that will make me very, very happy. My skincare, hair care, body care, it doesn't really bother me as much as having all of this makeup because I blow through all of my beauty stuff faster than I go through my makeup stuff. So hopefully I can get some more of these categories under control. I do have, like I said, quite a few problem ones and a few that I do feel like I can make some very good progress this year. So we're just going to have to see how this year pans out, pun intended. And I guess that is everything. Just let me know what format you like. This is a little bit new. I'm still working on the setup and the lighting here. So while I like doing this overhead format, I'm not sure that this angle or this lighting is the best. I will see how it works for my next inventory video that's going to be filmed in the next few days and we'll see how that goes but let me know what format you like do you like the still pictures do you like the overhead and then we'll go from there all right please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until i see you in my next video have a beautiful day